Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, my colleagues, my guest, guest speaker, Mr. Leon Sanz. Last but not least, Dr. Myers. We instill professional principles in such as in us as students for our future. We all can attest to that. By the way, you are looking lovely this evening. Thank you. Thank you. Just sharing a small joke. An interviewer asked a man who applied for a job. Why do you want this job? He then replied, Sir, I've always just been passionate about not starving. <laughs> now for the topic which I speak on, bringing back capital punishment and reduce crime in Jamaica. My view on this matter is that if criminals were given capital punishment, it may cause them to think twice but not necessarily solve or reduce crime. Take for instance, a criminal shooting two of your family members and then facing only jail time to be eating your hard-earned pay taxes? Do you think it's fair for the families who are left behind to suffer unknown? Evidently, capital punishment will always be a controversial topic in which many people will argue that it's inhumane acts. Two wrongs don't make a right. But the death penalty is not about wrong or right. It is protecting society from hardest killers with absolutely no regards for human life. While the victim cannot be restored following a murder, the death sentence will bring some form of closure for the families. Undoubtedly, many of our citizens would agree that the re-implementation of death penalty in Jamaica is long overdue, as it is our only hope of regaining our beautiful country. It will only get rid of the violent murderers who are roaming amongst us, but it also serve as a strong deterrent to reduce crime. That's my view. Minister of Security, Peter Bunting, who spoke at the Nutsford Court Hotel on February 12, 2015, in New Kingston, said the strategy, which is a combination of hard and soft policing, has seen a positive feedback within the communities where it has been introduced. As there's a reduction in the crime rate, he also spoke about putting in, putting in more resources, more men, more vehicles, and more legislations. He also noted that the exceptions, the smart policing approach, has been critical in achieving and sustaining reduction in violent crimes, which dropped 17% in 2014. Mr. Bountain, the police, uh, Mr. Bountain said, the police alone cannot solve crime which I agree. Violent crime in particular is not just police problem. In fact, it's a cop-out. When you look at it, it's only not police problem. Mr. Bounty implemented the Unite for Change project. It's a national movement and public awareness campaign aimed at uniting Jamaicans and in, in a fight against crime. It seeks to increase the participation of citizens and their safety planning. The Stay Alert app which is a part of the strategy, allows people to send photos and videos to police to control, to the control center and if there's any panic alert. Jamaica has seen a 40% in reduction in its numbers of homicide, of homicide committed between 20, 2009 to 2014, sorry, since this app has been implemented. In concluding, capital, capital punishment in Jamaica will forever be a controversial topic. But in my opinion, it will reduce some of the heartless killing of the criminals of reduce some of the heartless killing in Jamaica if the criminals knew what the punishments they would face in committing such crimes. Thank you for having me and have a pleasant evening.